Hi there and welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Now we are going to continue with the second part of the databases tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. SQLite 3 Prepare version 2 DV This is going to be the insert statement but it's just a negative one we don't care about that right now uh, a reference to our state our statement and no I don't need a second parenthesis now if you see you collide here step statement this is a bit boring I know see you collide done so so you are alerted with message user added to the database entitled message and now we say name the text equal to empty string uh, address the text equal to empty string and you guessed it found the text equal to empty string good times uh, now let's go to the else if something goes wrong because in computer science there's always that possibility and it actually tends to happen something goes wrong so you better make your programs solid so you add it with message failed to add the user and title is an error ok, another else if you like 3 finalize Statement and SQLite three close. It's going to be defined. Let's speed this up because it's exactly the same as above. And a string query SQL is going to be equal to. Let's go down a bit. Uh, in a string, string with format. Now, in order, in order to retrieve information from the database, you select the field address phone, because we only need those two from users where name is equal to this beautiful thing placeholder add bar comma there and name the text cool so, so select uh, you specify the fields from is the table so table users and where name equals so the users whose name is equal to the name we have in our text label. Alright, now we have to encode this string. So, constar character query statement is going to be equal to query SQL UTF-8. SQL-3 B per version 2, this is just the same database the statement negative one a reference because we need to modify it statement and nothing really no is equal to SQL light or kidoki if 
Ci... Let's get a light. Ooh, row. Jackpot. Alright. Now in a string. Address. Here is going to be equal to in a string good a lock in it with utf string constant character pointer scalite three column there we go and statement and number zero. So the first column. That zero indicates the number the position of the column. We're selecting address and phone. So address is the first column. So zero like a race. And phone is the second one, so it's going to be one. Now address text is going to be equal to address field. Now the same thing to for the other one. Phone field and one phone dot text equal to phone field. Okay. Once we do that, we need to so a dialogue about it. So solve so UI alert with message match found in database and the title is just message. Now, if something goes wrong, which can be that we don't find it, so because it's not there, that wouldn't necessarily mean something went wrong. So, so you are alert. So match not found. Match not found in database. Oops. And the title, you guessed it, message. Not error. Message. Because this is not an error. This just means that the name we search for is not there, but the query did its job. Uh, we set the fields to nothing. So address of text is going to be equal to just an empty string. And for the text is going to be equal to another empty string. Yay! This is so cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then we need to finalize the statement. So let's go like three finalize and we pass the statement. Uh, else, if something goes wrong when I open the database, okay. so so you. So you alert file to search that up. base. Oh no back up for thirty days. Don't do that guys, it's bad. I work a lot on the cloud so it doesn't really matter that much, but you should do backups. It's actually useful because I my computer has got poof a couple of times and backup saved my life. Well, uh, if you guys want to do a time machine tutorial, I'll be happy to do that. It's really easy actually. You just need a external hard hard drive. Because it's one of the most useful things you're going to learn. And everyone needs to know some databases. Know your databases guys. Uh, right, that's it. That's the find. Yes, the remove left. Just bear with me. This one is shorter, sort of, kind of, a bit shorter. It depends on how you feel it. So constant character, because this one we're not gonna process that process that much. We're just gonna be like let's do this quickly. That is path. I'm gonna show you a faster way of doing queries. Now you've suffered through all that 
million lines of weird characters and weird things that don't make that much sense. Now we're gonna go through a faster one. Character error message. No, let's go up a bit. If SQL Live 3 open, we still need to open the database. Database path reference to our database. SQL Live okie dokie. A string query is equal to equal to an S string string with format. How do you delete stuff from the database? Well, delete from the table, so users in this case, where name equals to this thing. Percentage add, that's just a placeholder, and this thing again. Name a text. Alright, we have our query statement. Now we encode it, constant character pointer query statement so equal to query SQL UTF string almost there uh, if I misspell that there we go. We have to execute it. If scale light three dot execute. What an execute is is basically a prepare step and finally it's all in one. Yay. So you don't have to write all that all those things. The problem is that you don't know exactly where something goes wrong in case it does. Database uh, query statement query nuts self so you alert message is going to be delete from database to a message now our else fail to delete <laughs> and the title dun 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 error bang you don't want to see this that's our else Wait, 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 I think I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. That's wrong. Brilliant. I think I was out of scope. Uh, control I. All right, now that we've done this, we do close this. And the else is basically gonna be just the same. And now, uh, because we want to hide the keyboard, like always, hide the keyboard, where are you? Do, 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 do. Hide keyboard. And I'll set touch. And because we're running out, out of time, just gonna say phone. I know, if you do this, like, well, you just have to say phone or address or name, and that would be much better. Wait, wait, there is a warning in here that shouldn't be. Let's go and check it out. Here, uh, oops. Oh, come on, guys, you should have told me about this. Uh, now let's go ahead and try it. Come, say. Tutorials. Tut. Address is going to be the secret address. 
and four, one, two, three, secret again. Come side to remember it. Right now we try the search. Come side toot. Nice. We found it and we see how it feels. And now let's go ahead and delete it. So wait. yeah. Comp side to I didn't need to re to remove that. Boom. Delete from database. So if we try to find it again. Match not found. Sweet. Alright, thank you so much for staying with me all of this tutorial. I know it was extremely long. But again, it's really cool and you need to know your databases. They're so important and I use them so often. Like right now in my internship I'm doing Android development, but I still use databases in like every day. So that's it. Thank you again and hope to see you next time.